Sporkinator Science Labs. science you monster back with more portal 2 i am yes sporkinator i am yeah that's the yoda impression i tried to do on the first episode but it got cut off for some reason and that would explain the ending of it as well anyway guys i'm sporkinator welcome back to let's play portal 2 let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator and makes a happy face. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was talking over Cave Johnson uh, at the beginning there. I didn't mean to. Well, yeah, like I said, Yoda impression got cut off, so the ending made most made no sense. I pressed record before I started talking. I don't know why it didn't come out right, but that's all right. Once again, ever so slightly lost, finding my way around this crazy place. Hooray! I did nothing. Exit. I don't want to fall off the edge here, but... What's up there? Anything? Dangerously close to the edge. They wouldn't make it that they wouldn't make it that difficult though. Well, I'm wandering around aimlessly now. I hate doing that. Especially while recording. Oh man, I better figure this out fast. We're losing precious time. found it. Oh my gosh. Hope you guys don't mind me. I hope you guys don't mind watching my fails. There's probably going to be a lot of those. Oh, oh. Blue portal in there. Easy. I like your style. You make up your own rules just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Alright, so we've got this blue gel here. Let's see what we can make out of that. the whole floor and we can be able to jump anywhere. Oh, that is so useful. Okay. What's up here? Ooh, more blue gel for us to jump with. And what's bottomless? Exit. Oh, up there. I don't suppose that's actually useful. No clue. Well, okay. First order of business is to get up there. I don't know how much of this I need, but that ought to do it. Alright, so now we're up here. I'm thinking I just need to launch myself. Let's give that a try. Oh, okay, that was good. That was good. 
We just don't quite have it yet. We need more, uh, jumpy stuff. Oh no! This stuff's annoying. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. How'd I get up there before? Alright, just, just like this. There we go. Launch the blue gel over there. Oh yeah, now we should be able to bounce really far. And here we go. Whee! Boing! Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Reactionception. <laughs> Visualize, visualizing the potential reaction is the only thing that triggers the reaction. So yeah, that's got to be some kind of paradox. Huh. If you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Button. Wait, what'd that do? Oh, it turns off the water. Okay. We turn off the water. Then we can jump up here. Is that all there is to it? For now, I guess so. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. <laughs> Time travel. That would be interesting. Oh, I'm locked in here, am I? So I can't actually... What is this? Oh, by the way, if you're stuck bouncing, just hold the crouch key. And... You won't bounce anymore. It may have given me a hint for that, but I wasn't paying attention. Huh. Well, that accomplished nothing. I'm not really stuck here, am I? That, oh, that would make no sense at all. <laughs> okay, so let's get up here first. And now let's prepare for launch. There we go. Hmm. Well, okay. I have a feeling we still need that gel stuff for this next part. Based on my previous playthroughs. So yeah, we got a portal there for the gel. Does that even help at all? It doesn't help at all. I think our real goal is to get gel onto that slant. That might be all we want. Then do I just jump off the edge and do this? Yes siree. That was relatively simple. But now what? Well, wall portal. Um... 
Bear with me, guys. Oh, oh, it's that simple. Just have to look up from time to time. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalk between the tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm on a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did it. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grip. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. <laughs> oh, cave. Anyway, we just gotta get blue gel onto that cube somehow. Yep, like that. Darn cube, come back here. There we go. Wash it off with water. Now it won't bounce around everywhere. <laughs> so, keep on button. Platform down. Get on platform. With the aid of the blue gel. And then what? I've got to get the cube off the button, obviously. But how? Oh. <laughs> like that. Science is about why. It's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science and love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Not you, test subject. You're doing fine. Oh, good. You, box, your stop. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. Science isn't about why. It's about why not. <laughs> What's not to like about Cave Johnson? He's hilarious. It's too bad he's no longer with us. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. Yay. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. <laughs> Anyway, I guess this is supposed to be a picture of Cave Johnson. Interesting. Thank you for your participation. Exit. Exit. Okay, seriously, what's my next goal? Um... Well, I guess we'll head over there. Is this it? Well, I found a door. That's gotta count for something. Yeah. Right up there is looking quite interesting. Onto a portable surface? No. Nah. We would definitely not want to fling ourselves across the room and actually get something done. Oh, that didn't work. But why am I not falling? Really? Oh, that's funny. Okay, if not there, where? Oh, uh, oh, okay. But how? Do I need to be on the, like...
Yeah, I definitely see that there. But how am I supposed to make this work? I don't get it. Uh, what am I missing? Was there some random lever I forgot to pull? Yeah, there's got to be something I'm missing here. That's the way I came in. Oh boy. Yeah, I really hope you don't mind watching my fails. Because I am momentarily stuck. Very stuck. Door? <laughs> of course not. You know what? Any day now... Oh my gosh. Am I gonna spend the next six minutes wandering around doing nothing? You are kidding me. Uh... <laughs> oh, I would love to be up there right now. Gotta figure this out. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This may as well be a blind run at this point. Just making sure. Can't shoot through there. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. I just figured it out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, just flip both those levers. That can't possibly backfire. Ah, oh, finally. My gosh, that took forever. It took way too long for me to figure that out. That was just sad. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you most likely use one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope, nope, couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything, unless it's test-related. Crying out loud. Okay, clearly I want my portal there, right? Oh, good. Oh, hi. Huh? Say, you're good at murder. Could you ow, murder this bird for me? Oh. Klados. Ow. Oh. oh, thanks. <laughs> Did you feel that? That idiot doesn't know what he's doing up there. This whole place is going to explode in a few hours if somebody doesn't disconnect him. I can't move. And unless you're planning to saw your own head off and wedge it into my old body, you're going to need me to replace him. We're at an impasse. So what do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. Interesting idea. This potato only generates 1.1 volts of electricity. I literally do not have the energy to lie to you. Even if I am lying, what do you have to lose? You're going to die either way. Look, I don't like this any more than you do. In fact, I like it less because I'm the one who got partially eaten by a bird. You don't look partially eaten too much. I think I hear the bird. Pick me up. Pick you up? Okay.
I think GLaDOS crashed. Oh, yep. And GLaDOS crashed again. Not enough power. Ah! Okay. I've got this. This is easy. Um. Well, hey, this can't hurt. Float around and figure it out. That's where we need to go. There we go. Yeah, that worked. That was super effective. Well, we have reunited with GLaDOS, who is still a potato. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Portal 2. Sporkinator out. If you did not enjoy this video, feel free to dislike, unsubscribe, and leave an angry comment. Sporkinator will read it and laugh. Goodbye. See you next time.